These are the very first of many pictures released from the James Webb Space Telescope. You've probably already seen videos across YouTube about these photos, but it's important to understand the story behind these photos and of the scientists who worked tirelessly for this accomplishment. In this video, we'll be delving into what the JWST is, why it's so important, and what lies ahead and what's the story of this wonderful telescope. We also have some special guests, including Dr. Sarah Webb, a researcher from the Swinburne University of Technology, and Vivek Daiha, a science communicator running the Sci AI podcast. So, Dr. Webb, what is the James Webb Space Telescope? The James Webb Space Telescope is by far the most complex, most intricate, largest telescope we have ever sent into space. It is amazing because it allows us to look back in infrared light, something that from the ground here on Earth, we are very limited in seeing. Our atmosphere blocks or bounces a lot of it away. So the James Webb Space Telescope allows us not only to take images of very distant galaxies, but also take spectrum. With this spectrum, we can figure out exactly how far away and how old they are. Scientists working at NASA never actually wanted the James Webb Space Telescope to replace the Hubble Space Telescope. Both these telescopes observe at different wavelengths of light, with the James Webb Space Telescope focusing on much longer wavelengths compared to Hubble. Instead, engineers at NASA wanted both the JWST and Hubble to be used together to discover a whole new array of phenomena. And this is why when the JWST first began sending back data on the first few photos, everyone was super excited. Oh my goodness gracious, that was so amazing. I mean, I will uh, primarily uh, talk about the three images that I still remember. First is the Carina Nebula picture, you know, and then uh, it feels like you're in heaven because uh, there are stars uh, twinkling in the sky and then you would see the Carina Nebula with the waveforms. It's so gorgeous, it's so beautiful, it's so crystal clear. The second one was uh, you know the shell of gas and dust of those dying stars those pictures were beautiful as well. and then the third one was the steve francis quintet i mean beautiful beautiful formation of that almost like a dancing formation between uh, these uh, four or five galaxies that's just super uh, loved it the first photos from the jwst were designed to sort of flex jwst's muscles photos such as the carina nebula and stefan's quintet are really attempts by the engineers at nasa to push the jwst to the limits from the very start and as you can tell by the jwst design the telescope's mirrors are broken up into smaller parts allowing for super crisp photos Engineers at NASA are certainly super happy with what they've managed to achieve. And remember, the JWST launch and unfolding was like a $10 billion lottery, and there are a billion places for it to all go wrong. This is what had most of the NASA employees up during the night, and that's certainly a huge responsibility on them to make sure that a $10 billion in instrument is not wasted because of an unfolding issue. Astronomers and other people alike are now looking forward and wondering what the JWST will be studying and capable of studying. There have already been many applicants and studies organized. The JWST is certainly designed to do some many fascinating things. For one thing, the JWST can look at objects really far away. Since these objects are so far away, we see them as they were millions or even billions of years ago. This allows us to understand the very early universe, and that was one of the prime goals of the JWST outlined by astronomers. We currently have very solid theories about how galaxies and stars should form, but very little data to actually refine our models, and that's something the JWST will work towards. I think there is an uncountable amount of amazing science that is going to be done with JWST. So, so many science cases from studying the very first galaxies to planetary spectrum, it really is a broad range. Some things that I'm really excited about, though, is being able to study outflow gas from giant black holes at the centre of galaxies. I think that's going to be incredible. I'm also really, really excited to see the different spectrums of exoplanets that we find, and maybe we might find something unusual and exciting. At the end of the day, the James Webb Space Telescope is in space, floating around the sun alongside the Gaia Telescope, and while it was delayed several times, it eventually got into space and has surprised the world at its true capabilities. I think how it will revolutionize and uh, be a game changer uh, compared to Hubble uh, is the fact that it is so fast, first of all. I mean, um, I've read that, uh, you know, it, it is sending 50 terabytes of data uh, in within a week uh, compared to Hubble, which used to 
uh, send about 120 gigabytes of uh, data every week. So, I mean, the fast um, communication between the JWST and uh, uh, the Hubble is the difference for me. Uh, 